Uh, my name is uh, William Mzoma. Uh, I'm coming from the UK. Uh, this is my wife, Nomhle Bowa Mzoma. And also she's coming from the United Kingdom. And mostly why we're here today, uh, as we came on Sunday, uh, the most important thing why is because we're facing some challenges in our life. That's the most why we say, no, let's pray so that we can go uh, to Charles Missionary so that we can uh, get some deliverance and some uplifting. That's why we came here. Because right now, for example, we do have a child who is in custody. Uh, it's almost six months now while I was in East in custody. Uh, the cases has been gone to court uh, about three times. Now on the 12th of July, it will be the fourth one. So by the grace of God, we know that he is going to come out and we re believe that in God that is going to come out. I've gone some challenges for almost 10 years. I'm not doing the work of God at all. So why I'm here, I've just come here to the AFC, you know, to receive some deliverance and, you know, to receive some uplifting so that I can gain strength so that I can come back again to where I was so that I can carry on with the work of God. That's why I am here. And another challenge again is about our marriages. Uh, our marriage, it seems as though it was like a, a broken marriage. But uh, uh, what we've experienced now, because the apostle has uh, said a lot about our marriage, because the first thing what he said, are you brothers and sisters? <laughs> I didn't manage to answer that. I just say I'm husband and wife. But he kept on as a, hus a brother and sister because he knew he saw that, you know, there's no a relationship among us. Then he went through explaining what is causing all uh, those breakages uh, between us. Then, but he had prayed for us so that, you know, our marriage can come back to where it was at the beginning. So we know that our marriage is now back and I'm going to love my wife uh, to the last degree, which I wasn't doing at all. And I think what I'm going to do, I will buy again a night dress <laughs> so that like what uh, our apostle said yesterday when he was, you know, giving us a teaching, uh, I do appreciate that. And uh, my wife, uh, I'm going to love you more. Yeah, about our son who is in custard. Uh, he had gone through a lot. I can say when maybe he was in Yale 9, Yale 9. You know, in our country, in the UK, uh, there are those drug addicts. Uh, they, they do use young ones. Uh, like, you know, we can, I can just say it's child exploitation when young ones are being used to sell some drugs. And again, you know, a background again, you know, to destroy some houses, you know, stealing some money, this and that. So he was arrested. Uh, I can say on the 1st of February, when we went with him to report, when we were there, he was with his mom inside. Then he, me, I was outside. Then the two men came. This way, a policeman came. Then they said, well, we're arresting you because of this, this, the case which he did on the uh, 24th of November. And that time again, he was underage. He was 17 years old because he turned 18 years on the 27th of December. So from there, he was in the custody, and it was a struggle to see what is going on. As they say that he's an adult, he will stand on his own. So from there, it was a big challenge for us. It was a painful. I was crying day and night together with my wife. What have we done? What is happening? All those things, we're just crying. But we just thank God again. This, you know, it brings us to gain strength. I can say that was the first time for us to kneel and pray and ask Lord, Lord, please give us strength. And we started, you know, to gain strength from that time. And when he, when he get there, the first time when he spoke to us, the first thing was, Daddy, are you fasting? 
Are you praying? Are you fasting? Every time he was asking that question. And that's true. Even in me, I wasn't having any time to fast. But from there, I was fasting. I was praying all the time. And I was gaining strength day and day up to now. That's why we planned our journey. Said my wife, please let's go. That's why we're here today. Uh, me, I was prophesied about uh, my health. Uh, he said my heart. And uh, that's true. I've got uh, a problem with my chest. I didn't know that it's uh, affecting my heart. Uh, so I was told to pray very hard about it. But he told me that from today it's broken. And uh, even the pains in my uh, waist. I've got those pains. They've been troubling me for a long time up till now. But I hope they are gone. By faith, they are gone. And also what he spoke about, it was concerning about our marriage. Then he said, from today, I'm going to restore your marriage. Then you're going to be a husband and wife. So we thank God about that because it really, it was a broken marriage. Because we're just living like, you know, a brother and sister, like uh, Apostle, uh, what he said at first when you arrived there. So we thank God for that. It was caused by enemies. We, that's good. Thank you very much. This was caused by the enemies. They didn't want us you know, to, 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 to be together as wife and husband. Yeah, you know, to me, myself, uh, I, I, I did uh, feel great because I was really, really happy, you know, to be face to face with the man of God. You know, uh, being, you know, explained, you know, for example, if you've got some problems when you are facing face to face with the man of God, yeah, he can tell you this and that, this and that. And you yourself, you can explain again, maybe there's somewhere again else, so that, you know, you can receive some prayers on that. You can get healed on oh, oh, those problems, those, you know, sufferings. So we thank God for that also. I'm so, so happy. Yeah. Uh, I will encourage them to come and to come and see what is happening here. Mm. Yeah, what I would say mostly, you know, to all people in this world, when a man of God is being sent by God, is being sent, no one will say this and that, no. Yes, we know that uh, there are so many challenges which men of God receives. The uh, example of, to the Son of God, he faced a lot of challenges. They knew he's a Son of God. But they were accusing a lot on him. That the same again to our apostle, he's doing a lot. He's helping the sick that are getting healed. Paralyzed people. They're gaining strength and they're starting to walk. There's so many people with, with the problems, you know, that are being delivered when they come over here. So to all people who are hearing, please, 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 if you do have any problem, I will advise you, God is there. By his grace, you'll get healed. You'll get saved. Come to Charles Mission.